Hey guys, Nintendo Fanboy for the win here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new review of the Nintendo GameCube uh, white controller thing. Uh, so basically this controller came out I think around 2008-ish, uh, 2009, I'm not sure, um, but it actually, really cool, uh, it's a Japan exclusive and it came out around, like I said, 2008 and it was meant to be basically for Super Smash Brothers, uh, just because the wire, or basically any tournament game or whatever, because the wire is actually much longer than the original GameCube controller, so I'm... I actually got this on sale on Amazon for $36, and I have Prime, so free shipping, and um, it just came in the mail, uh, and it's brand new, never used, in the box, really cool, um, so I would recommend that you guys go get that, it is on sale right now, um, so yeah, basically, uh, as you can see, I did open it up, um, but the buttons, the triggers are very responsive because it is a new controller, obviously. So they are very responsive, and the just have the camera focus. The uh, buttons are also very; they feel very firm. Um, so it is very useful to get a uh, brand new controller like this, especially for tournaments and stuff like that. And as you can see, the wire is much longer uh, than the original GameCube. I will show you right here. Hold on. Right here is my original GameCube controller from when I was a kid, really, like 2004, 2005. And uh, as you can see, the wire is not that long. It's only around... That's how long it is, really. It's not that long. Um, and I know <clears throat> I'm not holding it up right or anything, but as you can see, the wire is much shorter than this wire. I believe this is like 9 feet or... 10 feet or something, and this is around like 3 feet, uh, so really useful for tournaments and stuff like that, and uh, it's really awesome, and uh, also the analog stick feels very, very firm, no no movement, really, like usually you can just wiggle your finger a little and you can feel the analog stick really moving, so nothing like that, uh, I will show you inside the box though, really cool box, um, this is actually pretty much the same, bo uh, as you can see the Japanese characters there too, uh, this is a Japan exclusive. You can only get it in uh, from Japan, uh, but I got it, like I said, on sale for 36 bucks, and it was sh shipped from America, so you can just get it on sale from that. So just flipping around to the back, you can just kind of see right there. Um, basically, you can see it's all labeled. I don't know what it says. I'm just guessing that says Y, X. Yeah, there you can see it's like probably X button or something. Um, in the bottom, nothing. Uh, so, really cool. They actually, this is pretty much like the same box that they use for all the Wii U products now, which is basically um, this kind of box like this uh, with the top um, up like this. So, but the really cool thing about this, which I'm glad for uh, on a collector's note, is this just pulls up. It's like a little tab instead of the glue that Nintendo uses now, which actually ruins the box when you try to open it. So, basically, what uh, when you get into the box, just like this you can just pull this out and in here comes with nothing in the box now comes with a little I guess user guide or a manual um, not really sure what it is talking about but it's just basically showing the how to do it and it's showing right here the Wii so it is uh, this did come out around like 2008 or so uh, so that is pretty much where all this, um, why this says the Wii, and it's not talking about GameCube, really. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and that's the manual. Next, it also came in this, came in this protective blue bag, which you usually see from controllers and stuff of that nature. Um, and that's pretty much it. There was nothing else in the box, it was just that. Um, just fold this up. So, just like that, and that's about it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me what do you, what uh, accessory or whatever would you like me to review next. I have a bunch of accessories and stuff that I have, uh, and I'm I'm more than willing to review them. Um, this was just really cool thing because I did just get it in the mail today, and I just wanted to review it because uh, many people uh, don't actually know what this is exactly. They just think it's a regular white controller they don't know it's like Japan exclusive and the 
the uh, wires much longer and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.